Ooh, okay, is this another teen? Gosh, I need to stop creeping on some teenagers. I need some men. Welcome back to Sims 4, everybody. We are now in episode two. In episode one, we finished with just having woohooed for the first time. We also got pregnant for the first time, and we're in a brand new house with no job and no prospects for us. So I think we actually have to move already because this house that I'm in doesn't have enough room for at least one spare bedroom. So I think that leaves this house, which is already taken, and this house is taken too. Um, I think what we can do is either import a house or we're gonna end up evicting someone. I know for sure there's at least a spare bedroom in this one, although I would assume there's one in this one too. Um, so I'm gonna be mean and we're gonna evict somebody. Um, let's evict these two people. This was the snob teenager that we saw in last episode. So we don't want him in our neighborhood. So he's going uh, evict household. Yes, we would like to do that. Um, and now we're gonna move our girl into this house. And let's leave it, um, I think, unfurnished for now. Um, or no, let's do furnished. Oh, but then that only leaves me $688. Okay, unfurnished it is. That will leave us $6,000, which isn't a whole lot, unfortunately, um, to hopefully buy everything we'll need. So that means um, kitchen, living room, uh, desk, because we'll need some sort of like computer or at the very least probably for um, writing if we're gonna end up doing that. Maybe we'll need an art easel. I don't know. We're gonna be a little bit poor for starters, but that's okay. Um, I knew that that was the problem starting off this challenge, uh, but let's move in. Here's Kelly already with a cute little baby belly from, um, who's our daddy's name? His name is like Gary Walsh or something. No, what's his name? Uh, Gage Whaley. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, and it's, uh, our self-proclaimed holiday. I'm calling it move-in day, but basically it's to commemorate our anniversary that we'll come by every year to celebrate, uh, when we basically started the series, so to speak. So, um, I need to add crap into our new home, but at least in this home, um, there's definitely a smaller section for a kitchen and a living room, but that's okay because at least we have more space for a kid's room, which I think will be, ooh, depending on how many kids I have at a time, I might wanna make this the kid's room and this my master bedroom um, because there's only one thing that needs to take place in the master bedroom, but all of my kids, I can potentially have up to seven kids at a time. They'll have to stay somewhere, so, um, We'll wing it for now. Let me install some stuff and then uh, we'll see if we can find our gal a job.
All right, my mini moving makeover is complete, or at least as complete as it can be. I only have 263 simoleons to spare, so I just barely got in everything that I need. I've got the essentials for a bathroom, and I've even got a computer on a desk, my master bed, I've got a little bookshelf for studying, my kitchen, a cute little dining room table that fits just in this little nook over here for all of my kids and myself to sit around, and then a little living room with a tiny little TV here on this oversized table. Definitely not an aesthetic that I would totally like to live in, but we'll upgrade this hopefully in the future, assuming I get more money to do so. But let's resume and see if we can get a job so that we can actually increase the simoleons we have because eventually we'll have to get some toddler beds and I don't think I have enough money to afford that, especially if I have twins. And she is smelly and unhappy. Of course she is. So uh, let's take care of that, take a shower. And we basically spent all of last episode um, seducing people or at least trying to seduce people. So this is really the first time I'm actually alone and here to take care of myself. And uh, hopefully that gives me enough time, like I said, to get a job and to work on some skills because I have basically from now and when the baby is due to get some cooking experience and get some money earned, which is not really a whole lot of time. And thinking of it, this is probably the last time I will be officially alone for a hundred babies from now or however long it takes me to either fail the challenge or die. That's pretty morbid. Okay, Kelly's finally out of the shower. She's getting pretty hungry, so this is the first meal she has to cook for herself. Uh, what can I even cook? Uh, have brunch. Scrambled eggs with bacon. Okay. Oh, and I love her cute little baby bump. She looks just so sporty and kind of athletic and stuff like that. Okay, I'm acquiring the cooking skill. So that's good. Good to have that before the baby arrives. I don't have a smoke alarm, which hopefully I don't come to regret in the very near future because I do remember having some of my houses catching on fire in the Sims 1 and stuff like that uh, from some cooking hazards. I don't think I can afford a smoke alarm. In fact, hold on, maybe I can. Can I afford that? Because I don't want that to be the end of me. Okay, $75. I can just barely afford it. Let's put that there. Okay, now I feel a little bit better. Okay, Kelly, now let's, uh, ooh. We need to find a way of making money. Can I register with the Ministry of Labor? What does that do? Because I don't wanna already fail my challenge with challenge number one. So I know I can still fall within the rules of the challenge by working from home. So let's see what this does. I'm actually not sure. What is my career? Oh, okay. I don't know. I should have looked into gardening. How do I go buy seeds? And what is this? Why can I dig right there? Okay. How about let's go fishing. Can I make money fishing, I wonder, and sell my fish? We'll find out. So my new acquired fishing skill allows Kelly to catch fish, mount them on the wall, or keep them in a fishbowl. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, let's try and see what this digging thing does. Ooh, wild mushrooms. Let's see what those do too. Ooh, Kelly dug up a capsule. What could be inside? I don't know. Okay, uh, harvest, harvest mushrooms? Ooh, acquired the gardening skill. Kelly's new skill in gardening will allow her to plant, water, weed, and harvest. New interactions and advanced techniques are unlocked at higher levels. That would be interesting. I, in real life, do not have a green thumb at all. Um, I really can't keep anything alive to save my own life, so um, that might be interesting to live vicariously through Kelly in the game. Interesting, and who do we have over here? Are you a child? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm, I'm disgusting. Let's, um, <laughs> let's keep playing with the environment here. Let's sell this. All right, we're making a little bit of money. Not great. I don't even know if it's enough to pay the bills. 
Is that the creepy guy again? Yep. The guy I evicted. Ooh, okay. Is this another teen? Gosh, I need to stop creeping on some teenagers. I need some men. Some adult men. Because we already have to think about um, seducing someone else. Because these babies are, or I'm assuming twins, but this one baby or more are going to pop out. And then we're going to need another baby daddy right after. So maybe we'll do gardening and painting. Okay. I guess it is time to become a jack of all trades because Kelly is gonna write her first novel. But I'm gonna see if I can register with the Ministry of Labor and see if that helps me get like some sort of weekly check or something like that. So I'm gonna say we're gonna be an entrepreneur. And my job description is jack of all trades. Stay at home mom. That should be enough. Okay, so let's see what that does. If that starts to get us like some sort of income. Um, but we can do a painting. Oh gosh, and it costs money to do a painting? Okay. Let's go for it. I don't know that I will get $50 back. I literally have four simoleons left to my name. Kelly can't bait anymore. She's got to pee. She's got to eat. And we're actually about to be in the second trimester. All right, Kelly's feeling better. Can we sell this? Sell to collector, there we go. $45, so it didn't quite cover the cost of the painting. So that means I literally cannot afford to do any more paintings. Oh my gosh. Why, hello there, who's this gorgeous fella? with the five o'clock shadow. Oh gosh, it's Gage Whaley. This is our baby daddy. Let's share the big news. Ooh, okay. That's one way of doing it. Oh, she feels inspired. And look at her little like waddle walk thing. That's so cute. Gage, you're about to be a father. Oh. Yay, he's stoked. Good. <laughs> Ooh, who's this guy, though? That's Mortimer Goth. Okay. Let's friendly introduction him. Please do not pee your pants. Maybe Mortimer will be the next baby daddy. Um, but we've officially introduced ourselves. They're bored. I need to pee. Let's go to the bathroom. Wow, have you ever seen a more classical painting than this llama? All right, selling that. Hey, we're going to get $72 though. That's nice. Write a children's book. That would be perfect. She's about to be a new mommy. We're going to call this I Loved You or I've Loved You Since Conception. That's bound to be um, an award winner. So we've got a couple different avenues it looks like of making money. So it's not like we're gonna be 100% strapped for cash, I think at all times, but hopefully if we can just keep progressively working on all of these, if at the worst, just one at a time, we'll have at least a couple different avenues. Kelly's got to pee and she looks like she's just about to pop. Ooh, and why is she feeling flirty? Now is not the time. She's about to have her baby any minute now. She's in the third trimester. She could literally give birth any second. She is feeling pretty lonely though, although that's not gonna last for long. I swear, any minute now, she's gonna get a house full of children. <laughs> Let's call Mortimer. We're gonna invite him over. How do I invite? Okay, yes, invite Mortimer Goth. Invite in and begin the seduction. Wow, she literally looks like she's about to explode. Oh, that's so cute. I'm striking out left and right. Oh, Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Okay, Mortimer, I think it's time for you to go. 
You're not the one for me. I should have known it before I even invited you over, dude. Please knock. Bye bye. All right, let's get some rest. I feel like the baby's gonna come any minute. Oh my gosh, Kelly has gone into labor. Baby number one. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What do I do? What do we do? Um, she's gonna eat an animal cracker. Okay. What do I do about the baby? I've never been through this before. Okay, she's feeling pretty miserable. Oh, okay. Um, have baby at hospital. Okay, so I'm gonna go with her. Oh, and should we invite? Let's do it. Let's invite Gage so he can be a part of our baby's life. Okay, Kelly's feeling pretty uncomfortable, which is understandable. Oh, and Gage is so excited. That's so cute. Um, ooh. Who's this hot doctor or nurse? Let's say hello to him. Oh, and what a cute little gown she's wearing. Let's say hello to the nurse here. We've got to check in after all. Oh, and where did Gage go? Oh, he's out of here, I guess. That's okay. Gives us alone time with... Who's this guy? Armani Metzger? Okay. Oh, there's Mortimer. Why is Mortimer here? He's a patient. Get out of here, Mortimer. I was here first. Okay. Um, let's ask Mr. Armani about his day. Okay, he's pretty happy. I think uh, this is going well. Oh, that's not going well. Maybe the problem isn't so much my sin, but maybe I make the moves too quickly. All right, let's check in. All right, so we're following her. We're, I'm not even sure where we're going. Oh, we're going over here. Okay. So we pop out the baby in this thing, I guess. Okay, and I guess she's trying to schmooze with Alice, the doctor. Um, she's learning that she's a chief of staff. Oh, and there's baby. That's kind of gross. It's a baby boy. The baby needs a name. Well, let's see. We are redheaded. And uh, the Weasleys and Harry Potter were redheaded. We'll name baby boy Ron. Ron Solis. Oh, he's bald. How cute. Oh, she's breastfeeding. That's new. It used to always be done by a bottle. And it's kind of nice we're starting out with one child here to just kind of ease into it instead of being inundated all at once with some chaos. Okay, now that we're home with baby, we're going to have to get pregnant again right away. So um, I'm not sure why we're still in this outfit. Let's get uh, dressed. Let's, ooh, shall we get dressed in something super fancy, I wonder? Let's do this outfit. That's kind of like a more casual party outfit. And then we're going to go invite over hot nurse Armani. <gasps> do I not know him? Oh, and he's wearing a Santa hat. How cute. Okay, how do I not know him? <gasps> oh my gosh. I know Alice Spencer Kim, but not Armani. Okay, change of plans, I guess. Let's invite over Travis Scott. See if he can get us pregnant. Okay, and cool. He'll be right over. So maybe we should watch that hot new TV show. It's that one's there. It's that one there, Game of Llamas. Oh, and invite over Travis. <laughs> dag, dag. Oh, hi, Travis. Dag, dag. Scuba okay, Prep this is going helps. well, but I do have a baby cry in the background. Ooh, talk about the TV premiere. Okay, flirty interaction incoming. Oh, gosh, a purple wingle. Biafa? Oh. Oh, good, he accepted it. All right. Phew. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, can I brighten his day? Or ask if single when he's feeling flirty. He is single, good. 
Let's uh, kiss his hands. Larbin. He's into me. Okay, good. Uh, can we do first kiss? Oh, confess attraction. Let's do the slow burn. I've been jumping into it too quickly with Mortimer and the other guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, did he not take that well? Uh oh. Uh oh. Passionate kiss. <gasps> wow. Okay, he's so hard falling for her. Um. Now, can we try for baby? No, shoot. We'll invite him to stay the night. Ooh. Okay, now we can woohoo. Okay, good. And then we'll try for baby on round two. All right, the deed is done. Let's see if you're pregnant, girlfriend. Aw, yeah, she's eating for two again. Travis Scott. Baby number two, we did it. He can leave now. Goodbye. Okay, he can leave. Our baby is doing great so quiet. We are killing it at motherhood. We're pregnant again. So this is where we're gonna end it with episode two. Getting a lot done. Please let me know what you guys think about the series so far. And I hope to see you guys back for episode three when we're gonna be having even more children.